It is often useful to represent the state variable system with a block diagram. It gives us an overview of the structure of the system and can help us to gain insight into the dynamics of a system. In this video, we look at two block diagram representations of a state variable system. The block diagrams we use only consist of integration, summation and gain blocks. It is important to understand that a block diagram is an equivalent representation of the system dynamics to the state variable equations. We can therefore go from one representation to the other without losing information. We first look at the block diagram for a general state variable system. For the general state variable equations, this is the equivalent block diagram representation. We call it the vector block diagram since some signal lines denote vectors of signals. We draw such signal lines with double lines. Let's go through the block diagram and check that it is indeed equivalent to the state variable equations. In the center of the block diagram is an integration block, with its output being the state vector. The input to the integrator is therefore the derivative of the state vector. The derivative of the state vector is given by matrix A times state vector X plus vector B times input U, which is equivalent to the state equation. The output Y is given by vector C times state vector X plus D times input U, which is equivalent to the output equation. We can represent a specific state variable system with a block diagram that only has scalar signal lines. To illustrate this, let's work through an example. Suppose a specific second order state variable system is described by this state equation and this output equation. The corresponding block diagram is shown here. There are two integrators with their outputs being the states x1 and x2. The inputs of the integrators are therefore x1 dot and x2 dot. x1 dot is given by minus 7 times x1 plus minus 12 times x2 plus u, which is the same as the first line of the state equation. x2 dot is given by only x1, which is the same as the second line of the state equation. The output y is given by 1 times x1 plus 2 times x2, which is the same as the output equation. The block diagram and state variable equations are therefore equivalent. To draw the block diagram from the state variable equations, I usually start with the integrators. I draw the same number of integrators as the number of states. I label the output of the integrators as the states and the inputs of the integrators as the corresponding state derivatives. I also draw the input signal u and the output signal y. Then I simply go line by line through the state variable equations and draw in the necessary signal lines, gain blocks and summation blocks.